the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Your love is kind. Your love is patient. You fill my heart. With so much peace and joy You're amazing For our goodnight message on this Thursday the 7th of July 2022 Broadcasting from the Retreat House in Kawe, Zambia By your servant Father Eustace Siame A selection of Don Bosco We listen to this encouraging message In line with the first reading of today Entitled God really loves you. Jesus, you love me too much, oh, too much, oh, too much, oh, excess love, oh. Today we read from Hosea chapter 11, verse 1 to 4, and then verse 8c to 9. It was God talking about the love that he had for Israel. When Israel was a child, I loved him. And out of Egypt I called my son. And in this passage, God laments about the unfaithfulness of Israel to this love of God. The more they were called, the more they went away. They kept sacrificing to other gods. And now he says, my heart recoils within me. My compassion grows warm and tender. I will not execute my burning anger. I will not again destroy Ephraim, for I am God, not man. Why? Because he is a loving God, not a changing human being. He loves us, and he loves you. It was because of that that he decided to send his beloved son, Jesus Christ, to come and show that love to humanity. The story goes, every Sunday afternoon after the morning service at their church, the pastor and his 11-year-old son would go out into their town and hand out gospel tracts. This particular Sunday afternoon, as it came time for the pastor and his son to go to the streets with their tracts, it was very cold outside and it was raining. The boy bundled up in the warmest and driest clothes and said, Okay, Dad, I'm ready. His dad, pastor, asked, Ready for what? Dad, it's time we gather our tracts together and go out. Dad responds, Son, it's very cold outside and it's pouring down. The boy gives his dad a surprised look saying, But dad, aren't people still going to hell even though it's raining? The dad answers, Son, I'm not going out in this weather. Despondently, the boy asks, Dad, can I go please? His father hesitated for a moment but said, You can go. Here are the tracts. Be careful, son. Thanks, dad. And with that, he was off and out into the rain. This 11-year-old boy walked the streets of the town, going door to door and handing everybody he met in the street a gospel tract. After hours of walking in the rain, he was very wet and down to his very last tract. He stopped on a corner and looked for someone to hand a tract to, but the streets were totally deserted. Then he turned toward the first home he saw and started up the sidewalk to the front door and rang the bell door. He rang the bell, but nobody answered. He rang it again and again, but still no one answered. He waited, but still no answer. Finally, this 11-year-old boy turned to leave, but something stopped him. Again, he turned to the door and rang the bell and knocked loudly on the door with his fist. He waited, something holding him there on the front porch. He rang again, and this time the door slowly opened. Standing in the doorway was a very sad-looking elderly lady. She softly asked, What can I do for you, son? With radiant eyes and a smile that lit up our world, this little boy said, Mom, I'm sorry if I disturbed you, but I just want to tell you that Jesus really does love you. I came to give you my very last gospel tract, which will tell you all about Jesus and his great love. With that, he handed her his last tract and turned to leave. She called to him as he departed, Thank you, son, and God bless you. 
The following Sunday morning in church, Pastor Dad was in the pulpit and as the service began, he asked, Does anybody have a testimony or want to say anything? Slowly in the back row of the church, an elderly lady stood at her feet. As she began to speak, a look of glorious radiance came from her face. None of you in this church know me. I've never been here before. Before last Sunday, I was not a Christian. My husband passed on some time ago, leaving me totally alone in this world. Last Sunday, being a particularly cold and rainy day, it was even more so in my heart as I came to the end of the line where I no longer had any hope or will to live. So I took a rope and a chair and ascended the stairway into the attic of my home. I fastened the rope securely to a raft uh, in the roof, then stood on the chair and fastened the other end of the rope around my neck. Standing on that chair, so lonely and broken-hearted, I was about to leap off, when suddenly the loud ringing of my doorbell downstairs tattled me. I thought, I will wait a minute, and whoever it is will go away. I waited and waited, but the ringing doorbell seemed to get more insistent, and then the person ringing also started knocking loudly. I thought to myself again, who on earth could this be? Nobody ever rings my bell or comes to see me. I loosened the rope from my neck and started for the front door. All the while, the bell rang louder and louder. When I opened the door and looked, I could hardly believe my eyes. There on my front porch was the most radiant and angelic little boy I'd ever seen in my life. He smiled. Oh, I could never describe it to you. And the words that came from this mouth caused my heart that I'd long been dead to leap to life as he explained with a cherub-like voice, Mom, I just came to tell you that Jesus really does love you. Then he gave me this gospel tract that I now hold in my hand as the little angel disappeared back out into the cold and rain. I closed my door and read slowly every word of this gospel tract. Then I went up to my attic to get my rope and chair. I wouldn't be needing them anymore. You see, I'm now a happy child of the king. And since the address of your church was on the back of this gospel tract, I have come here to personally say thank you to God's little angel who came just in the nick of time and by so doing spared my soul from an eternity in hell. There were now no dry eyes in the church as shouts of praise and honor to the king resounded off the very rafters of the building. Pastor Dad descended from the pulpit to the front pew where the little angel was seated. He took him in the arms and sobbed uncontrollably. Probably no church has had more glorious moment and probably this universe has never seen a papa that was more filled with love and honor for his son except for one, this father. God who allowed his son, Jesus, to go out into a cold and dark world. He received his son back with joy unspeakable. And as all of heaven shouted praises and honor to the king, the father sat his beloved son on a throne, far above all principality and power and every name that is named. There may be someone listening to this who is also going through a dark, cold and lonely time in his or her soul. You may be a Christian, for we are not without problems, or you may not yet know the king. Whatever the case, and whatever the problem or situation you find yourself in, and no matter how dark it may seem, know that Jesus really does love you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, as it dreams. Same to you, Father. Your love is patient. You'll feel.
heal my heart with so much, so much peace and joy. Too much, 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 too much,